Okay, so here's what I want to say about our sweet cap. I'm sorry, I'm getting all weepy. I'm very emotional in this cemetery. That we think of the best friends in this book, and of course it's Betsy and Tacy and then Tib. And I have opined many times that I think Betsy's actually closer to Carney than to Tib. Uh, just, I can't bear this heresy. But I started reflecting more recently about Cab and Betsy and what good friends they are. And they were always friends and she never had a crush on him. And he completely had her back. And one of the things that made such a sweet impression on me that is, um, his grandson shared is that Jab was always so excited when Maud was coming to town for a visit. And he always called her Maud Hart. And he's like, Maud Hart's coming, Maud Hart's coming to town. I just think that's so sweet. They loved each other. They were great friends. Maud and Cab, Betsy and Cab, are as much an example of the wonderful friendship that we celebrate in these books as any other friendship there. So, we love you, sweet man. I'm happy to be sitting on your lap right now or possibly your head. <laughs> <laughs> Jean's right next to him. You should clean her off too. But she rest in peace. Who? Jean, his wife. Or whatever is her. Here? I don't know. Let's find out. Uncover okay. that mystery grave. All right. Clean up the leaves for grave. your mystery grave. Yes. One of the things I found at the Anderson Library was Jab and Grace reminiscing about how they met and what they liked about each other when they first met. And his grandson's talked about this too. He was such a snappy dresser, even with that bald head, <laughs> that shaved head. He was neat as a pin and a snappy dresser. She liked that a lot. He said she was so good natured. And I think earlier in their marriage, they had to move around a lot. I don't exactly remember why, though I made notes on it. She never complained. She packed up the family and moved. That's pretty cool. That's a nice wife. <laughs>